Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to plot a candlestick chart using Python. So we will see what is a candlestick and what are the inputs required for drawing that. This is Japanese candlestick. The green one is bullish candlestick and the red one is bearish candlestick. So for a candlestick there is a wider part which is the real body. So the uh, if it is a bullish candle so this part is called open and this will be the close open price and close price and this one is shadow these two are shadows and there is a high and there is a low and for a bearish candle this is the open price and this is the close price and this is the high and this is the low so this candlestick is very useful in identifying the price movement in the stock market so we need this much details to draw the candlestick for that i have collected the bank nifty data daily data for one year it's from 4th may 2022 april april last and the file is saved in the path so this is the path where i have saved nsc bank daily dot csv now we will see how to plot the candlestick chart in python first of all we will check the our working directory so that you can take import os os dot get working directory current working directory yeah correct it is inside the candlestick okay a folder candlestick then we will list out the yeah we have our file saved in the uh, nsc bank uh, daily.csv that is what file that we require so we will import the packages with that required for this one we will import pandas as pd then import matplotlib dot py plot as plt to draw the um, diagram and import plotly dot graph object this pandas as pd is required to open the csv file as a data frame in python so matplotlib dot py plot is a famous uh, package it is used to module it is used to draw the uh, figures draw the plots plotly dot graph objects as go this is required to draw our candlestick so if you if you have not installed this one you need to install this one pip install matplotlib and plotly these three are required run that one now we will import the data import the data required so i will save it as bank bank nifty bn data okay bank nifty data equal to pd dot read csv we will use this read csv uh, method to open the open our data so our name is it is given here see nsc bank daily dot csv then we will make the date uh, date column as the index index column equal to date so this will make the date column as the index column then we need to pass parse the parse dates equal to true so if, if you are not uh, parse the date then the date column will be considered as an object here it will be considered as a date time object so it will be easy for us to work on print data bn data and also bn data dot date okay. the first five and last five will be printed so here you can see See from uh, May 2020 to March 2021. The first five and last five columns in the data that we have uploaded as BN underscore data. Now we will have a normal plot. We will have a normal plot like plt dot plot using matplotlib. We will, we need to give the data. In the data, we will be using the close price and we will give the color as right. We will give the title as daily close price. PLT dot show. So, this is the uh, diagram for one year. So, it starts from here and ends here. But this is not what we require. We require candlestick diagram. So, next we will plot the candlestick diagram. For that we will use the plotly.graph objects 
which is imported as go. Okay, so we'll uh, give a candlestick. Okay. Candle stick equals go dot. We'll use the candlestick method inside the module candlestick inside the package candlestick and here first we need to give the data what is the data x is equal to the data name data is bn data underscore data dot index so that is the data we need to take then um, so dot index means already we have declared date as the index call okay. then what is the open so for uh, drawing candlestick you need open price close price high price and low price so you need to uh, give, give the data for that open equal to so inside bank data bn data which column okay there is a open column give the open column then close equal to bn data inside bn data the close column then open close high high equal to bn data inside bn data the high column and low what is the low price so bn data low okay now mm, we need to create the figure equal to go dot figure figure method to and data equal to candlestick candlestick so we have created the candlestick we'll print it out output big dot show okay now we have created the candlestick and see using this slider you can so it represents the one year data and if you click on one candlestick it will it will show what is the open price high price low price and close price slide this select a small area you can have the uh, diagram for that one. Okay. and by default uh, this will create a green and a red candle green for bullish and red for bearish now you, if you want to change the color you can add that one here okay. i'll i'll copy this one I'll copy this one and you you need to add increasing line color equal to you can give the color I'll be saying then decreasing line color equal to gray so, dot show okay. so now the color has been changed to gray and cyan okay. so you can see gray increasing is represented by cyan and decreasing is represented by gray so this is how you can uh, create a candlestick for a daily chart daily chart so so using this one you can the range can be selected so range slider using this range slider you can select the required uh, period of time now you can also add uh, title etc also okay. we'll do that one also that i will copy the same thing and we'll do it. along with this data you give fig dot update layout update up, you need to update the layout and there you can give the uh, title bank nifty candlestick chart and uh, y axis title y axis title bank nifty price you can uh, okay so it has been updated so you can see here uh, title has come and the y-axis title has also come so this is how you can plot a candlestick chart in python using the data so if you have any comments or suggestions please write in the comment section and if you like my videos please subscribe my channel thanks for watching